so it's time to put away my layouts and I just wanted to do a really quick layout share. This is um, cut file and I think it's by Paige Evans. I did kind of like a rainbow theme with um, one color on each flower and added some clouds from Whimsical and Chamel's Ahead in the Clouds, I believe. And this is actually the back of that layout that I did, that I showed you last time. And I said I wanted to keep it out so I could do something in the back because I really like that pattern. So this is another one in the back of this layout. It's about my daughter's crazy hair day. <clears throat> this is a snow event that we went to and this cut file is by Paige Evans. Um, I embossed half gold and the other half with um, glittery clear and then just backed up whatever was going to be showing in silver and green and orange actually my daughter chose that color for the stars and I just went with it <laughs> another cut file this one's also by Paige Evans I embossed I watercolored first and then I embossed the stars and I used some of uh, Chamel's I had in the clouds here and just little things from my stash and some embossed foil paper and tissue paper for layering in the back, there's this, um, this was such a nice soft pattern, the, the pink. So I thought that it would go well with something that packs a punch, you know. So this is a cut file by Paige Evans as well. I cut them, I cut them all on watercolor paper. Because watercolor paper really holds up to embossing, coloring, whatever you want to do with it. So... Um, this is a recollections paper. It's an older one and it just comes like this like flat and this is connected So to make it a fringe, I just cut um, on one side and just kind of fluffed it up And now I have this little fringe paper to back my cut files with I love it I hope I can still find some and then I used it to make some hearts too um, And then I just the other paper, the other ones is just layered paper and I fringed, I fringed it. Let's see. And this one is a cut file by um, Virginia Walker, I believe. Um, her name on YouTube is Gold, Gold Dove Crafts. And she has a Facebook group. Um, it's called Confessions of a Paper Addict. And she gives us free cut files every week. And this is one of the ones that she gave us. And as soon as I saw it, I thought Sandcastle. So I did a layout of my baby's first time at the beach. And then I used some ahead in the clouds and little random stickers. I got these puffies at Walmart. Yep. And that's one sided. This one I did with a stamp set from the Ink Road. I When I saw it, I knew what I was going to make. Because it says, you are perfect, you drive me bananas, orange, you cute. Um, you're the apple of my eye. So that's called, um, the stamp is bananas. And let's see. Yeah, so I just layered. I remembered this fruit papers from DCWB, the watercolor stack. And then I just stamped a whole bunch of other fruit. And I, there was so many, there were so many fruit embellishments in my stash. It was so easy to find. This one is a pumpkin. It's a geometric cut file by Paige Evans. And this is also a Paige Evans cut file back here. I just cut it smaller. I embossed it and I used it for layering and right here too. And this is Pebbles. Let's see. This one. I believe it's a Simple Stories line. That came out around fall, in, um, fall sometime. Um, this is a Page Evans cut file. Also embossed with gold ink. Let's see. Did I write anything on this one? Just... No. 
This one is, there's a process video for this one um, just recently. I love how these little, um, little dots shine, little gems. Okay, so this is a little glassine bag and I did my journaling here in the back and I attached this paper clip to it and then I'm just clipping it on this orange paper now <clears throat> and there you go and this is a Starbucks um, gift card I thought it was a great title and it totally captures the spirit of the photo here this one it has um, Todd file I think this might be by Wilma Furstenberg or I believe I'm not sure and this is Maggie Holmes. This is some of Chamel stickers. And then these butterflies are from a sequin pack that I got at Walmart. I just, I really like this TP paper and I really thought it captured like the spirit of the outdoors. Um, but it was too strong. So I just put some gesso over it or, or white paint, maybe white paint over it. And I did some gold splatters. This one, um, I had a lot of fun making this one. I made a pink dinosaur because, you know, there's a lack of pink and purple dinosaurs out there. So um, I found this, I think it's a free SVG file. And um, um, I backed it up, <laughs> pink and purple. Mm. And then I had this um, Kidosaurus deck from DCWV. It's older, but it's really cute. It says, Roar means I love you in dinosaur. And these, um, this, um, the inside of the cut file, I gave it to my daughter to play with. And she actually had a lot of fun and decorated it. So then I used it on this other layout. Look at that. It's like big chunks of runny glue and glitter <laughs> so these two are like partner pages and that's all those are all my layouts for today oh yeah so these papers are actually really old DCWV stacks that I just happened to pull out and really like so I just went with it oh and around the edge here I um, inked it with some Wink of Stella, a Wink of Stella brush pen. So I thought that was a good way of finishing up this page, I guess. Okay, so those are all the layouts I have to share for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.